There was one last thing that uh, we wanted to explore on this motor before we're done with it. Not that it really matters, like this motor is toast, but uh, we never took out the lifters. This one, we can force it. With a magnet, the lifters aren't supposed to be stuck in the boards. They're supposed to come up nice and easy like this one. That's good lifter. Now it's kind of stuck. Now it's kind of stuck. Now it's kind of stuck. That's good lifter. Good lifter. And all these rollers look good too. Three lifters will not come out. On cylinder four, I can get the back lifter to twist a little bit, but on cylinder six, this rear one on cylinder four, I can make twist, but he won't come out. These two are bound up. They don't go down, they don't come up, they don't twist. Uh, let me roll the motor back over. See what we can see from underneath. That was... See if I can't reach down in there. Some of those bits of metal. Out. They uh, they look to be wedged in there pretty good. This really sent these chunks deep into the block up here. These are chunks of rod that are wedged up in here. They're wedged so far into the block that I don't think we could pull the camshaft out if we wanted to. Let's see if I can show it to you guys. You guys see those pieces of block or of uh, connecting rod? Right here. And here, these are wedged so far deep down into the block, they're uh... Oh, I got that one to move. Let me see if I can pull it out. No. You ain't having that. That thing is, is so far through that. So we're not even going to be able to pull the camshaft out, I don't think. That, That piece of rod, this top piece right here, looks like it's going through the block and into the lifter on the side. And it looks like there's a bend. Maybe it was bent up after it went into the block. Like that, that's not coming out. What about the big pry bar?
No. Uh, what if I release the camshaft from the crank? Maybe if we pop cam sprocket off and release the time and chain. Maybe that'll help. Maybe then we can roll the motor. I'll roll just the crank. Yeah, because it's actually the cam that's bound up. That lifter is twisted 90 degrees. <laughs> Knock the other lifter down. That shit is not going down at all. Um, we can stick some bolts in this cam and we can see if we can turn the cam, twist the cam. Yay. Now, the question is, was that the only thing stopping this cam from coming out? Let's see what this camshaft looks like coming out of here. Another chunk of rod stuck in a block stopped the cam from uh man this thing wedged a lot of pieces of connecting rod with the block. Yay. And here's our camshaft. Uh there is no help in that. You guys see those loads right there? That thing is, is done. It's a comp cam. Uh, the number on it is uh, 156184-18. And the number under that is 3354211138. When I run these numbers, I don't find anything under comp, but I find a, uh, a BTR stage four cam. Stage four cam is firmly in the land of, uh, you don't care if it comes apart as long as you're making your power, right? Uh, I myself, I prefer uh, to go a different way because I like things that last. And uh, hot cams have bad idles. They're pigs on gas. They don't blow clean smog. And at the end of the day, there's better ways to make power.